Mm. Oh. Yes, a cross uh. assist. Uh, what, a, what a ball. Can you move for a little bit? Thank you. Oh, there it is. Mm. There it is. Filthy. Wait, oh, my biceps twitching. I uh, know that's random. Purple? <laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh, you are a header monster. Get in there. Nice. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Ooh, that's all me. Yes, sir. That's a, I have the distant shooter, <laughs> distant shooter chip. What the heck's going on? Oh! oh you know, I, could, I could tell that was something special when you put your foot on that ball. What's up, guys? This is Lesky, and today we're going to be looking at another pro player build, and it's going to be over the legend David Beckham, and this build is is amazing when it comes to passing and getting assists. You will get a ton of assists and set up your teammates for goals. The crossing, the long passing, the short passing, the curve, everything is top notch when it comes to the passing ability. And also the distance shots are pretty nice as well. So let's get started and take a look at the height and weight for this Beckham build. I decided to make this build a center mid. I could have also went for the right mid position and it would work very nicely. But the shooting when it comes to like long shots and stuff like that is better for center mid a little bit. Um, and then also the passing is a tad bit better, but really not much of a difference. I don't think it's just a little bit better. You could go right mid, test it out. You're a tad bit faster. Uh, I don't know about the physicals. I'm pretty sure they're about the same, maybe a little bit less when it comes to stamina. I think the center mid staminas are like the best in the game other than maybe like wingbacks or fullbacks. Um, and the defending for a center mid is a tad bit better, but it really won't be much of a difference. So if you want, you could use this build in the right mid position because Beckham, most of his cards this year on ultimate team are in the right mid position. Uh, but his lowest rated card, his 87 rated card is in the center mid position. I just feel like the center mid uh, for pro clubs when it comes to in-game stats just fits Beckham a little bit better. And even if you choose to use this build as a right mid, all the skill points will still be allocated in the same spot. So there's no need to change anything on the skill tree unless you want to take off some pace because right mids are a little bit faster. And then you could use some of those skill points somewhere else if you feel like it. But for the height on this build, I went for six foot. He's listed at six foot on FIFA and then 163 pounds for the weight. On two out of his four cards, the Prime and the Prime Moments card, it says he is 74 kilograms, which comes out to about 163 pounds. But really, anywhere in between 152 and 174 is what you're going to want for his weight and the stats, because the stats won't change. Anywhere in this range, you're good to go. But 163 is probably around the most accurate. Um, and then right-footed for this build, because he is right-footed, that deadly right foot that he is known for. Let's take a look at the perk page. When creating this build, I mostly looked at Beckham's two lowest rated cards, his 87 rated center mid and his 89 rated right mid. Except for when it comes to pace, all of his cards are pretty slow. Other than his highest rated card, the prime moments got a pretty big upgrade in pace. So we have pretty close pace to that. Actually, it might be a little bit faster. It's FIFA, pace is important, especially as a midfielder, we're gonna be running up and down the field a lot. And especially in pro clubs, you're going to want some pace. So that's what I made sure to do. So for the first perk, I went for distance shooter. And he's known for his long shots, his curve, his finesses, um, free kicks. So I wanted to go for distance shooter. Increases your actually in power from long distance shots. And as a center mid, they have like some of the best long shot stats. So it's already pretty good. Plus we have the distance shooter increasing the accuracy. And most importantly, that shot power. And it, also, it'll give you the finesse shot. He has the finesse shot on his cards. Um, and then we have the outside the foot shot trait. And it'll give you the five-star weak foot when you're taking distant shots from outside the box. So even if we have a three-star weak foot on this build, you can still take it with the left foot. And it'll be perfectly fine because it'll upgrade to a five-star. He also has the outside the foot shot trait. So we get both of these shooting traits when it comes to distant shots, the finesse, and outside foot. And we have a lot of curve on this build. So when you take finesse shots, even outside foot shots, the curve will affect it. 
and it'll add more bend and make the shots even better. So you're very deadly from outside the box with this build. And then the second perk, I went for Pinpoint Cross. He's known for his crazy crossing ability, whipping it in the box. Um, and he also has the early crosser trait. So I wanted to make sure to get the Pinpoint Cross because it gives you the early crosser trait, which is huge. It makes your crosses so much better, uh, especially when you're like further back up on the field, like you're not towards the end line. You're further back and you want to cross it early, lead your striker run into the box to volley it, header it, whatever it may be. It is a very underrated trait. I like it a lot. It'll also give you the five-star weak foot ability, so it doesn't matter what foot you cross it with. Flare and the swerve trait, which is nice. It'll add more curve and bend to your crosses. And I believe it'll help trigger outside the foot crosses easier, which is pretty cool. And then for the third perk, I decided to go for threaded pass. If you want, you could switch it out for precision pass. We kind of have some options uh, for a backup build. If you want to switch up the perks, you could go precision pass if you don't want to go threaded. I just like the threaded because it increases the vision even more. And I like hitting through balls over the top, on the ground, doing the double tap through balls, which is very overpowered. Um, I really like the threaded pass perk, so that's why I used it over precision pass. But it will give you the swerve, flare and a five star weak foot ability, same as precision pass. Or you could even go set piece specialist. He's known for his free kick taking ability and it'll help when it comes to like corner kicks, free kicks, uh, set, any set piece except for penalties, I believe. The cursor, you'll have like complete control over it. It won't like go all over the place, which is nice. It'll even give you powerful driven free kick trait, which can make your help you make your free kicks a lot easier. Just adds a lot more power onto them. So that's pretty cool. And then it'll give you the giant throw in, long throw in, um, and yeah, all that stuff. So that could be an option if you want to do that. Like if you want to take off distance shooter, it's really up to you what you want to do with the perks on this back and build. You have some options. Like you could even go physical strength. We didn't focus on the strength on this build, but Beckham has like mid 70s mostly on his cards for strength. We have lower than that. So if you want to have the physical strength, it'll make up for that and be a little bit closer to what he has. So those are your options, honestly. I, I pretty much used these three perks, I think, the entire time, and I liked them a lot. Pinpoint cross might not be as important like as a center mid. You might not be crossing it as much, so if you want, you could go precision pass. But I wanted to get that early crosser trait that he has, and when I was using this build, I like to roam wide on the, the wide areas of the pitch and try and get a cross in, and it was actually pretty deadly. So give that a try if you're going to run pinpoint cross. Try roaming wide getting the ball and then just whipping it into a striker, whoever's running into the box. It can be very good. Let's take a look at the skill tree. I used this build for a long time and I got a lot of clips that I might not even be able to show all of them in this video, depending on how long this commentary is. But I really like using midfielder builds that have great passing ability. It's just a lot of fun. So for the physical page, as I mentioned, we didn't go for much upgrades we needed to focus on the passing and the shooting a bit and especially pace so all i went for is just some stamina upgrades really for three skill points we got plus three stamina plus two strength and then plus two stamina and plus four reactions for four skill points right here to get that reactions up to 88 and we have 86 stamina which is actually pretty good and that's one of the upsides if you're going to use this build as a center mid compared to a right mid i think if you were a right mid it would be 80 stamina and then you might want to use tireless runner if you're gonna be a right mid with this build and we only have 63 strength all of his cards have more strength than this it's like mid 70s around there so if you want you could put the physical strength perk but i don't think that's like beckham's focal point uh what we're gonna be really focusing on for this build so i didn't even worry about that we're six foot have some decent weight so you can still body people because of that bigger frame on to defending and the base defensive stats for a center mid are perfect when comparing this build to Beckham's cards. His lowest rated card is actually one of his better defensive stat cards. He has 71 defending, 74 interceptions, 71 defensive awareness, 70 stand tackle and 65 slide tackle. So all the stats are very similar to that and there's no point of upgrading the defending for this build. So let's take a look at dribbling. Beckham doesn't have a lot of agility or balance on his cards, and all of his cards actually have more balance than agility, which is just not possible to do when we're trying to not add like a ton of skill points on this build. And as a center mid, 
unless you go up like a lot in weight, like almost go like max weight or close to that, you're pretty much always going to have more agility than balance. So we can't really compete with that or try and match that. But I tried to get the agility up to 80 right here with this plus two. And then I wanted to upgrade the dribbling a bit more on his 87 rated card. He is 77 agility, 82 balance. But then he has 83 dribbling and 90 ball control. And I wanted to try and match that as close as possible without using a lot of skill points. So I got this balance to bump it up a bit more. It's only one skill point. Might as well you get plus two upgrades. And then I wanted to upgrade the ball control because he has more ball control than dribbling. 90 ball control, 83 dribbling. So we have exactly 83 dribbling. And then we got this plus two plus three, and then another plus three to bump it up to 89. So only one less when it comes to ball control. And I did like for the first two or three games when using this build, I tried it with four star skills, but I felt like it was more important to add those skill points somewhere else. And Beckham only has three star, three star on all of his cards. Other than his highest rated one, he got upgraded to a four star weak foot. So we have three star, three star on this build. Um, and it really wasn't too much of a problem with not having like any skills, just three star skills because the dribbling's not that great anyways. So even if you did some skills, you're not going to be really pulling them off that fast because the agility and balance isn't amazing. So it's really not a problem uh, not having four star skills with this build. Let's move to passing. And of course, I have a ton of skill points on the passing for this Beckham build. And what I wanted to focus on is getting this artist archetype for 18 skill points, just going straight down you get plus 10 crossing, plus 10 curve. And then the last thing on the left side, we got this curve and vision for five skill points. You get plus two vision and plus three curve. And I just wanted to get that max curve of 93 for a center mid. You can't upgrade it anymore because he has 97 curve on his lowest rated card. And then he has 93 crossing. And remember, the crossing is actually better than what you see here because we have the pinpoint cross perk. And it'll actually upgrade it even more. And then on the right side, the stats are still very good. The only stat that isn't 90 or higher is the short pass, but he actually has exactly 89 short pass on his 87 rated card. He has 92 vision and 92 long pass. But remember the threaded pass perk will actually increase the vision. So it's higher than what you see here. And we only have one less long pass. So the passing stats are very similar. And there's no point of going for this architect archetype. The passing ability is already good enough and we need those skill points elsewhere. We definitely wanted to get the artist archetype though. So let's take a look at shooting. What I wanted to do here was to mostly upgrade that shot power. And then I just got some good value stuff right here. Just going for the long shots and shot power to get us up to 92 long shots, 75 shot power. And this is just upgrade and finishing and volleys but right here we go for the free kick accuracy and shot power his free kick accuracy is very high so that's kind of nice that we get some upgrades there and then another plus three shot power and you also get some penalties along with it for only three skill points that bumps it up to 81 it's lower than pretty much all of his cards i believe but we're focusing on the distance shots when it comes to this build and that'll actually increase the shot power so it's definitely higher than what you see here when you take shots from outside the box and then same with the long shots it's going to be even higher probably like 99 long shots and you have the finesse shot and outside the foot shot tray and the five star weak foot ability we didn't go for a four star he has three star on pretty much all of his cards except one um but you don't have to worry about that when it comes to distant shots because the five star weak foot so the shooting stats are actually pretty good comparing that to his 87 rated card he has 80 finishing, we got 78, he's got 86 shot power, can't get that high, we only have 81, uh, he's got 90 long shots, we have 92, and then he has 82 volleys, we got 86. So the shooting stats are actually pretty good for this center mid build. Let's take a look at pace, and compared to his cards on ultimate team, this is the one section that is kind of unrealistic. We have 87 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, but I looked at his highest rated card, the prime moments, 94 rated. He got a big pace upgrade to 86 pace with 85 acceleration, 87 sprint speed. And all of his cards have more sprint speed than acceleration. So I kind of wanted to maintain that with plus one sprint speed over acceleration. But if you want, you could take off this sprint speed and then take off this 
acceleration right here to go 85 86 and be closer to what he has on that card you'll just have one less sprint speed and this is what i used for like the first few games i used those five skill points to put on the dribbling page for the four star skill moves but i felt like the skill moves were kind of useless so i upgraded the pace and the pace is nice for utilizing that pinpoint cross perk to roam wide create some space use that sprint speed and acceleration to get a cross off um, to actually take advantage of the pinpoint cross perk you have on this midfielder build. So that's the main reason why I upgraded the pace. But if you want, you could take some of the skill points off and add it to like dribbling, upgrading the dribbling stat, agility, balance, or you could upgrade the strength on the physical page. Up to you if you want to take off some pace, what you want to do with those skill points. But I really liked it like this. I feel like that's the best version of the build. So that's going to wrap it up for this David Beckham build. Let me know in the comments how you liked using this build. And hit that like button on this video for me. And hit that subscribe button on my channel if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great rest of y'all's day. And peace out.